Because you guys don't want to open the window. It's really nice. Uh, there's a little glare in my glasses, and I was getting blinded. Ah, oh, dear man. And I know you don't clean yours. <laughs> oh, yeah, I do. Not now, but... <laughs> Case in point, dear God, there's a colony yeah. on these. <laughs> Check it out. And then it's like a SpongeBob zoom in, and it's just like... <laughs> It was just a little tiny web with a little tiny spider in the corner, and I'm just like, oh, oh that's delightful. A little spider. <laughs> For a little guy. For a little This isn't going to fit into the episode at all, so okay. I'm just going to tell a quick little story. All right. I was at work, and um, I bore witness to a Reddit story. Oh, Christ. So, you, 22M. <laughs> Well, I really had nothing to do with it. I just saw what happened. Oh, uh, okay. But uh, me and a coworker, we were running dual registers because there was a bit of a line. I'm bringing up a really big order. Someone's got like 25 things. And right. so it, I'm just hacking away at that. So then someone comes up to the other register. She just like, uh, er, sorry, this mysterious person we know nothing about uh -huh. brings a bunch of stuff up to the register. She's like, uh, hey, so I want to get these for the right price because the person over the phone told me that these rang up wrong and we can fix that. And uh, oh. Oh God. So coworkers just, I mean, no, it looks like these, these are ringing up the same. There's nothing I can do to change the price of these because they were all clearance items. So it's already the lowest possible price it can be. And I'm like, Hey, so the coupon's not going to apply to this clearance item. And the, my customer is like, Oh yeah, that's okay. So wholesome. But then uh, this other customer is just like, no, this is your mistake and you're going to fix it. Who's the manager? And my coworker is just like, I'm the manager. I'm like, he fucking said it. He said the thing. Oh, oh God. my God. He said the thing. <laughs> like, oh my God. I can't believe I saw that in person and it <laughs> was he the manager i don't think so <laughs> <laughs> i took care of all of the rest of that line while that fucking ordeal was just happening and so i'm like this customer is really pissed off like there must have been a really big mistake and so at the end of the transaction she's just like okay so so what's the difference on the new price and then my coworker says 89 cents <laughs> And she goes, uh, okay, good. <laughs> so like, uh, I fucking hope you walked there because if you drove, then you're a dumbass. <laughs> like, uh, come on. 89 I, cents. Well, it, it's for people like that. It's about the battle. It's not about the spoils. Yeah. Like I'm willing to bet that person is well off financially. Oh and they yeah. Just, they just wanted to complain, but yeah, they just get a high from fucking with people who they have no consequences. Like with. once all the customers were gone, he just turns to me and he's like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, uh, I don't know. No, dude. Uh, <laughs> that, thank God you're the manager. That's the most batshit insane thing I've seen in a while there. And I, like, I know it's not that crazy, but it's just like, man, I, I forget sometimes uh, that there are people like that. Yeah, they just seem like they exist in another part of the world, you know? That's fucking crazy. I saw a fucking I am the manager moment. That was awesome. <laughs> Fair enough, I guess. Uh, oh, I had a story, but I forgot it. Oh, come on. It'll come to me. All right, guys, welcome to Spicy Chicken Sandwich. Not to be confused with Chuckle Sandwich, which is only two letters apart. I'm your your host Carter. We have two amazing <laughs> guest hosts with me. <laughs> what are your guys' names? Hi, I'm I'm Aiden. What's good? <laughs> I'm Nathaniel, a wild boy for a wild adventure. Sorry if I seem a little tired. I'm still deflating from Carter's comments about. They're actually, pretty good. I recommend them. I They're... was just gonna say that you don't know how to count. No, no, it's actually two letters apart. I've I've looked it up. What's spicy? <laughs> now nah, remove spicy though. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Chicken sandwich is like only two letters apart from Chuckle Sandwich. Is that, uh, is that a cast? Yeah, you know yeah. Schlatt and like Tenevision? Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, that's her podcast. Nivison? I don't know what the fuck his name is. It's not Nivision. Oh, uh, I don't <laughs> care. I don't watch him. I just know that he gets mad when people call him Nivision. Nvidia. Well, okay, cool. That gives him an excuse to watch this podcast episode. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm, I'm sure that'll bring good things on us. He's going to bring it up on his podcast. He's going to be like, what the fuck? Who are these guys? These guys yeah. are the <laughs> dumbest ass people I've ever fucking heard. Yeah, and then you'll have to pay him 89 cents. <laughs> 89 oh, God. Cents. Oh, I remember what I was going to say. So last time I was going to do work, and uh, then I found out that the official Mythbusters YouTube channel is posting full length episodes. So I watched seven hours of Mythbusters last night. I forgot how much I love that show. <laughs> As I was watching, I was seeing the subscriber number climb up. It was like 110, and then by the end of the night, it was like 120K. Ooh. And it was like climbing. And then I checked today because I'm like, you know what? I wonder if they've uploaded a new episode because I kind of exhausted the ones they already had up so far, and they were all gone. Oh, yeah, probably copyright. Turns out that's not the official Mythbutters account. Yeah, no, I the fuck. <laughs> no. <laughs> I, it, it was really convincing because they managed to find like versions of the audio or the narrator. 
his voice is stuck in your left ear and there's none in the right. Mm. That was really weird. That's not how it is on TV. So they found the raw episodes and then started uploading them in high quality. But I guess they didn't. Maybe it's like a rogue Discovery employee who's just pissed about being fired. That didn't seem immediately weird because, I mean, Adam Savage is no stranger to YouTube, isn't he? Yeah, like, he's just tested now. It's yeah, pretty fun. He runs shit. As yeah. soon as you said there's 10,000 subscribers, I was like, oh yeah, no, this is No, a it, was, it was 110. 110? Yeah, and then it went to 120 by the end of the night. Oh, then yeah, fucking course That's it's right. not the official yeah, one. I guess, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, look, I was just excited because it's like my favorite show from when I was a kid. Well, and there now, are 119 more people who are just as excited as you. <laughs> 119,000. My God, you can't count. <laughs> <laughs> All I'll say is that the last five minutes of an acid jailbreak are even more pulse pounding than Inception. Excellent television. I don't Please know, stop I making those know. noises. I'm going to have to cut them. <laughs> Hey, Nate did it first, and I was like, oh, that was a good sound. Let me do it. I did it as a reaction. You did it for pleasure. I did it as a reaction to your reaction. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, my God. I'm already getting a headache. All right. What are we doing today? <laughs> we will be doing some slimy secrets this podcast. So, you gave uh, us homework. I gave you guys homework because you guys were like, you know what, Cody? I want to know what slimy <laughs> secrets is. I'm like, all right. How about you guys make your own slimy secrets, and then whoever fucking is better wins the fucking next Wait, podcast. Wait, no. Uh -huh. No, that was not the deal. Yeah. That was no, the deal. No, the deal was that you would have a version of it too. No, yeah, I have a version of it. Oh, okay. Yeah. I, thought, I thought you were going to do on the spot again. Oh, no. Fuck no. I actually have one. This yeah. is the <laughs> fifth episode of yours in a row you have outsourced. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, God. What the fuck is your excuse for that? Apparently, I keep on winning. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I have a podcast mini episode, and you guys should also have podcast mini episodes. You bet. Yeah. And at the end, we will vote on who does it better and if for some reason it's a tie, I'm just gonna, like, punch the computer and that's it. Okay. All right, I I guess I'll vote last. <laughs> it's a deal. In the interest it's a of deal. my own laptop. <laughs> <laughs> so who wants to go first? Who has... You. Yeah, okay, you are not fine, timing us out. You are going first. <laughs> 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 Fucking God, Carter. All right, so... Can't believe you. <laughs> so to start things off, I want to do my little talking segment. So, uh, what is oh, your yeah, most... Of course. The patented karma format you've used once. <laughs> I've used it a couple times. Yeah, anyway, what I is your most it. slimy experience? My, <laughs> I was sick last week. Is that your slimiest experience? Though? Dude, I didn't know a body could hold that much snot. <laughs> like, oh my god, dude. Oh man. Like, I, I, I would, I would estimate about a hundred tissues. Okay, okay. Like a lot of, a lot of snot. <laughs> Like, you could have sculpted another me out of the fucking shit that came out of my nose. Hello, this is Snot Aiden. Yeah. That's getting cut. How about you? <laughs> <laughs> what's my slimiest experience? Yeah, what's your slimiest experience? Oh, there was this... Uh, okay, this was really gross. Was it slimy? <laughs> oh, definitely slimy. <laughs> Good. So, uh, this is actually very relevant to us currently because uh, it's about Capri Sun, which we just bought a bunch of. Mm -hmm. This was middle school. I'm just at lunch because when you're in middle school, you go to lunch. He has such a way with words. I, what I would always pack is, uh, later on I moved on to packing a water bottle, but back in middle school, it was Capri Sun. I was really into that shit, and so okay. uh, my favorite flavor was Pacific Cooler, but who the fuck cares? It was about a fruit punch Capri Sun. What happened was that I just started sucking, like with that little ass straw, I just started sucking on it. And it just, it wasn't coming out. I penetrated the packet and everything, and it just, there was nothing. It's kind of like your story from a long time ago where you were like... the cricket? Yeah, yeah, like I'm just I'm just sucking on it and I'm like hmm, that's that's fucking weird like fucking nothing is coming through So I'm like I'm just sucking on this thing as hard as I can I'm just I'm su like I'm sucking so hard that my fucking my brain is about to You out. were sucking and fucking yeah, like uh, you could probably see the vein in my forehead I was just I was sucking so hard so hard dude just fucking oh my god I was sucking it so good <laughs> you could have paywalled that shit <laughs> I was sucking. <laughs> and then eventually something does come through. And not only is it not liquid, it's also not fruit punch flavored. So oh, Christ. I'm mm. just uh, some sort of goop in my mouth. <laughs> and I'm like... Because what the fuck? The waveform did not like that. You were saying? I think what happened is just that one packet, it was not mixed at all. So oh. I just I just got a mouthful of Capri Sun syrup. I'm just like, <laughs> I'm like, oh, God. There's a trash can right next to my table. And so I'm just like, ha. Ah. <laughs> 
And uh, I think that was actually the last time that I had gotten Capri Sun for lunch. Like, I finished off the rest of that pack, but oh my god, like, that stuck with me. Like, even to this day, when I drank one, I, like, I checked to make sure I'm not sucking too hard. Mm, you can't gotcha. suck too hard on the Capri Sun. Because <laughs> that is rancid. Ugh. Can I go again? I thought of more. Yeah, I guess so. Okay, I have two stories. You gotta pick one. Do you want to hear about Concoction Monday or the Death Spiders? First one. Sure, I like Concoction Monday. <laughs> okay. Okay, so this one also takes place in a middle school lunchroom <gasps> during lunch. Whoa. He has such a way with words. I know. In the same one? No. Oh. It's me, Nico, and all of Nico's friends. And Because I don't have friends. And we have this delightful idea. Because it's a victimless crime, we're going to throw all our shit out anyway. We decided <laughs> we wanted to make the most cursed substance possible by throwing all of our leftovers into a cup and mashing into a disgusting concoction of death and hell. <laughs> and this became a regular thing called Concoction Monday. And so every Monday, we would take all of our leftovers, put them in a cup, and mash them into bits. It got to the point people were taking shit out of the lunch line just to add the concoction. <laughs> I often brought ramen to school, and ramen made it look extremely organic, I will say. Yum. I think it, it got stopped because lunch monitors caught on and basically split us all up. Ah. But the time where we almost stopped ourselves was when we caused a reaction. I don't know what it was that reacted, Ooh. but people had to stand up and fucking run because it was bubbling out of the thing. <laughs> <laughs> what? I don't know what we did, but we caused something terrible. What? That's so gross. It wasn't my <laughs> idea. That's hilarious. That's so disgusting. <laughs> Is there any more? Um, we also played blackjack and we never bet anything, but there was the garbage round on days that weren't Monday where if you won the round, you had to throw out the entire table's garbage in one big handful. And so more often than not, people would drop shit all over the floor and make a mess. What the fuck? What kind of fucking <laughs> school system are now, you? I don't understand why people would actively win blackjack when you can just, you know, intentionally bust. But man, yeah. poor... He just didn't figure it out. He just kept throwing out our trash. <laughs> Poor <Damn>. bastard. <laughs> God, that's awful. There was actually something similar to a lesser extent uh, at my table in fifth grade for like uh, cursed concoctions. Mm -hmm. It was just my one friend who will we'll call a... Uh, oh, actually, he's a recurring character now because I told a story about him a long time ago. I think I called him Gary before. So oh. I'll, I'll call him Gary again. He has such a way with words. Mm -hmm. So he'd have his tray and there would be like some condiments left, ketchup or whatever. And I just start calling it the daily mix because he did it every fucking day. And usually it's just like chocolate milk and ketchup. Those were the two basics. Oh, there, there of course. Would, some days there would be other things, but usually it was just those. And so he would just like pour a little bit in and then stir it up with a fork and then just like take a little nip of it and... Uh, <laughs> It, it wasn't like super gross, but his face would always just contort slightly just to age him up 40 years. <laughs> and uh, it was the funniest thing ever. I swear to God. When people eat gross things, it's funny. But like, it's the funniest to me when it's just gross enough not to go like, oh! When you can see the cracks forming. <laughs> yeah. Like, but the dam doesn't it, burst. It's so funny. Yeah, there's the clip of you eating the Reaper gumball that I love where your face just slowly gets sadder and sadder as it yeah, creeps that's, up on that's you. Like exactly what it was. And it was so funny. That was his thing. Do you need to excuse yourself? No, I'm fine. I just <laughs> choked on air. <laughs> I breathed in too hard and I was like, oh no. If you need a cough break, then just let no, us know. No, no, I'm you okay. I got, I, I'm, I'm good. I'm okay. good. If you're going to be making noise, you should tell us to pause. <laughs> no, I'm okay. I'm good. In Shut the, the fuck up. <laughs> What's next? Was that was that good? Yeah, I mean, I guess that was good. Yeah. I have you time can tell a story. Not, honestly, the slimiest story I have involves a hand job, so I'm not going to fucking <laughs> say it. Anyway. <laughs> I'm a little nervous about this game. <laughs> Which one of you guys gives the best head? <laughs> oh, yes, All right, it's time for the game. Sloppy toppy. <laughs> okay, I, so Slimy Secrets, what my plan was going to be, like a long ass time ago when that was an option, you guys were like, what the fuck is it? Mm -hmm. It was just going to be frog trivia. It was going oh. to be a lot of, yeah, something stupid out like ass. <laughs> but I'm going to do a shortened version of that and I'm not going to do it just about frogs. So, 
10 lovely questions. They are not multiple choice. You just have to say the answer. And if you guys can't say the answer within a certain amount of time, then I guess you guys are fucked. All right. Okay. You guys hoot. You guys can guess as many times as you want. Do you want to grab a scorecard? No, because that's not the point of the winning of the podcast. It's based on what idea is the best. You guys can keep track. So this so. trivia is just for pleasure. This is for a pleasurable, slimy experience. Yes. Okay. All right, here we go. Question one. What is the slimy substance secreted, secreted? Hoot! Uh, mucus. Wow, okay, cool. I didn't even finish the... Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Frog secrete mucus. Okay. We get it, Nate? Yeah, we've My, got yeah, it. I under- Stop explaining the fucking game. <laughs> you sh- all right, number two. Fish are slimy creatures. There is one fish in particular that has the ability to change sex. What kind of fish is it? Clownfish. You, you had to... Hoot, you had to, clownfish! Okay, there you go. <laughs> yeah, you have to fucking hoot. God damn it. Yeah, because there's the post on the internet about how Marlon Nemo's dad would have changed sex. Uh, what happened in the movie actually happened. What the fuck? What? <laughs> yeah, there's a Twitter post about that. That's how it would work in real life. I don't go on Twitter. <laughs> yeah, can we abolish yeah, Twitter? I saw it reposted on uh, YouTube. <laughs> oh, God. God damn it. Aiden has two. Nate, you gotta catch up. In Greek mythology, there is a monster known for regenerating its slimy heads. What is this creature called? Hoot? Yeah. Hydra? Yes, it is a Hydra. A slimy? There's they're scaly, ain't they? And they're slimy. What? <laughs> what kind of hydras are you fucking with? What? The are ones hy- in Greek mythology? <laughs> are Greek hydras slimy? I don't think so. That I just mean, seems I, weird. I, they're not gonna show it on the tablets that they're slimy. That's, oh, but, just, that's oh, based on interpretation. You, so you're saying you're the only one that knows the secret. I do know the secret, yeah. You are 7,000 years old. I'm the only one in this room who has taken an ancient Greek and Rome class, so of course I would know oh. that hydras are slimy. Okay, I'll give you a pass on that one. Sweet, so I took one in high school. Get the fuck. Yeah, <laughs> minus one point for you. <laughs> fuck what? <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> one one. What? <laughs> you know what? Minus one point to you. Fuck okay, you. fine. Yeah, minus one to you. <laughs> fine, minus two for me. One one. Let's go. All right. Next question. There is a specific species that is able to not only regenerate its limbs, but able to regenerate part of its slimy heart. What is this creature called? Who? Uh, I'm going to give that to Aiden because he was more verbose about it. Starfish. No. Oh. That's what I was going to say. <laughs> Who, um, octopus? No. Fuck. It can regenerate its slimy limbs and its slimy heart. Yeah, specifically think of heart. Heart. Yeah. There is only one species that is able to regenerate part of its heart if it's damaged. Oh. Ooh. Yes. Uh, what's it called? A flatworm? No. Oh. Hoot? Yeah. A human? <laughs> yeah, that was a stupid answer. Yeah, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Hoot. Yeah. Axolotl. Yes, it's an axolotl. Hey! What the fuck? Yep, it is able to regenerate part of its heart if it's damaged. I saw an animation about an axolotl this morning, actually. And the bit was it's like a family and the daughter cut her arms off. Oh. And it was that was the bit. Well, because they grow back. It wasn't a big deal. Oh, so, that's yeah. kind of hype. It's kind of hype. That's yeah. kind of cool. Sweet. What specific slimy slug is capable to self-fertilize, meaning it is able to reproduce with its own sexual organs? What kind of slug? It is a type of slug. Uh-huh. Well, I don't know the slug lore. Who? Banana slug? Yes, it is a banana slug. That was a shot in the dark. <laughs> I was gonna give you a hint. It was gonna be like it shares the name of the fruit that I hate. The most. <laughs> you hate bananas? Yeah, I despise bananas. This is like a meme in the group. You know, Psych Club and bananas. Well, well I that... didn't think they were your least favorite. No, yeah, I fucking hate them. Yeah, I mean, it makes sense that he wouldn't think that because the context was that you were eating a banana. Yeah, because I was trying to fit in, but I really hated it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, in a room full of women, and you chose to eat a banana. What a concept. It, it was outside, first of all. <laughs> Way to send a message. All right, how many points are we at? I already lost track. So. Uh, I'm at like 60, and Nate's at four, and you're at negative three. You're not at 60. Shut the... This is why you need you a just, scorecard. You said the points don't matter. Next question. Axolotls are cute, slimy creatures that are gaining a lot of popularity recently. However... Who, who, they can regenerate their heart. <laughs> no, shut the fuck up. They can only be found in one country. Which country is it? Who? Yes. Cambodia. No. Hoot. Chile. No. Hoot. Ecuador. No. Hoot. Uh, on Ecuador. <laughs> Hoot. Peru. No. Hoot. Argentina. No. Can you give us continent? Uh, no. Or no, else... you can't. Yeah, I can't. Hoot. Venezuela. <laughs> Hoot. No. Australia. No. Oh. Hoot. Antarctica? No. Okay, well, those are the only two where the continent would give it away. Hoot. Russia. No. 
Who Trunks? No. Who to Iceland? No. Who Greenland? No. Who North America? That's not a fucking country. The United American <laughs> North. <laughs> <laughs> the United Norths of America. That's not a fucking country. Who? The United States. No. The Gulf of Mexico. <laughs> no. Who the moon? <laughs> No. You know, actually, I'm going to give that one to Nate. He did say the Gulf of Mexico, and it is Mexico, so. Oh. Yeah, there are two lakes that axolotls are found, and those are the only places that they are found in. What? Yep. You cannot find them anywhere else. That's insane. Yeah. Huh. Next question. Jellyfish are slimy and lightweight. However, the biggest jellyfish can have a bell reach up to eight feet tall and tentacles up to 100 feet long. What is the name of this specific jellyfish? Bell? Yeah, like, you like, know, the, like the tap. Yeah, it's okay. up to the bell. Uh, I, I don't know very many jellyfish. Who man? A war. <laughs> no. Uh, who those those two brothers in Shark Tale? I think they're Jamaican for some reason. <laughs> no. All right, I'll give you a hint. It shares the name of a ferocious mammal often found in zoos. Who? Yeah. Polar bear jellyfish. <laughs> no. <laughs> who small monkey jellyfish? <laughs> the biggest jellyfish is called small monkey. <laughs> uh, who? Yeah. Dinosaur jellyfish. <laughs> no. <laughs> Who? Tiger jellyfish. No. Who? Lion jellyfish. Close enough. It's lion's mane jellyfish. Okay. Yeah, it's a really interesting... Uh, I sure do love the lion's mane exhibit at the <laughs> zoo. That's my favorite part. Who? It's the ticket gate. It's the gate where they take your ticket. It, it, Who, it's the food court jellyfish. <laughs> food court block. So Aiden's at 79 and I'm at a point, uh, one. Point one. And Carter's at negative two. Three more questions left. Which amphibian species secretes... Who? Axolotl. No. <laughs> Nate goes next. You're not going next. Secretes toxic toxic skin secretions as a defense mechanism, often characterized by bright colors warning predators of their toxicity. Who? Poison dart frog. Yes. Did you know that they, like, whenever they get scared, the ooze oozes out of their skin? Ew. I didn't uh, know that. Ew. Yeah. It, it just comes out of them. Yeah, it just comes out of their fucking That's pores. actually something that teddy bear hamsters do as well. I used to have one, and, like, I dropped it from a bit of a height. It wasn't a big one, so it was fine. But, like, I dropped it, and then it walked away, and there was just a puddle of cream-colored liquid. Oh. I'm oh, like, God. I'm like, oh, God, what happened? And my sister's just like, that's the fart liquid, you dumbass. <laughs> that's, that's the fart liquid. <laughs> Look what you did. But it's not shit. Like, when they get scared, they just shoot scared liquid out of their anus. Oh. Yeah, that's fucking weird. Which is crazy. <laughs> I, I feel like that's a pretty big evolutionary deficit of humankind, is just not being able to use our <laughs> assholes offensively. I feel like that makes us sort of a weaker species on the tier list. I would go up to at least, like, uh, like upper mid if... <laughs> well, uh, <laughs> well, that's not ideal. Is that still recording okay? That was the sound of the microphone stand teetering and then falling over. All right. As I was saying, if I could shoot things out of my asshole, I'd be a lot stronger. Yeah, you have a very powerful asshole. As I feel like you'd be a god among men if we had asshole powers. Yeah, like if I could just eat a magazine and then blow bullets out of my asshole, I would be like, I'd be a war hero. Oh, like, yeah, okay, sorry. I thought you meant like Reader's Digest. <laughs> Next question. <laughs> That'd be better. What is the name of the tiny transparent sea creature that resembles a miniature tadpole and is often found in large swarms? Who? Sperm. So close, yet so far. Producing slimy bioluminescent displays at night. It also shares the name of a popular gemstone and a body of water. Oh, yeah. Amethyst Gulf of Mexico. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite tadpole. Uh... Is it just phytoplankton? No, fuck. Is so, it bioluminescent phytoplankton? No. Who is it? That guy from Subnautica with the big ass eye on his face? You know, maybe. Who is it? An anglerfish? No. Who are you sure it's not sperm? I'm pretty sure. You're taking a vote for sperm? Yeah. Can we? Can we majority rule sperm? All right, we have two votes for sperm. <laughs> it's a trivia it question. Sperm. Imagine going to Jeopardy and being like, you know, I don't think this question's the way it is. I think it's sperm and everybody else agrees. And I was just like, yeah, dude, I, shut the fuck up. Yeah. We're not giving you money. Yeah, sorry, Alex Trebek. You're full of shit. <laughs> and also dead. It's sperm. It's sperm, Steve Harvey. <laughs> it's sperm. Good answer. <laughs> 
Uh, I, I give up, actually. What it, yeah, I ain't got, got nothing. It is a sea sapphire. I was going to say ocean sapphire, but I'm like, that sounds stupid. Sea sapphire sounds like someone's fucking gotcha life account name. Yeah, that sucks. So whoever named right. that one. One more. Weeb. Yes, snails are small, slimy creatures, but the largest snails can reach up to eight inches long or as big as your hand. What is the name of this large African slug that has a very creative name? Who? Yes. The giant African slug. No. Fuck. You were halfway there, though. Hoot? Is it just African slug? No. Hoot, the giant slug. No. Hoot, the thicky boy. Hoot, giant African. <laughs> you know, I'll just, I'll just give it to you guys because this is kind of like a funny one. It's a giant African land snail. <laughs> Land snail. Yeah, creative but you name. said it was a slug. <laughs> That's the funny thing about it. <laughs> <laughs> also, why were almost all of these questions about slugs? <laughs> because they're slimy creatures. Like, Man, there was one frog question. <laughs> there was a clownfish and a hydra in there. Those are not frogs. <laughs> and an axolot. Those are not slugs. <laughs> also, I I, don't, I would argue none of those are slimy. Bro, you could exfoliate with an axolotl. Okay. I, I guess I have no reason to challenge it. All right, so we have Nate and I with 100 and Carter with negative 7 billion. Well, shit. But you know, that's how the game works. Yeah, so, so. I don't know who won, but you definitely lost. Okay. Yeah, I definitely lost. Carter one. loses a win, actually. <laughs> yeah, I think Nate won and Aiden lost because he made fun of me that one time. I'll what? take it. The what? insult differential. What? Yeah. No. What? Anyway, Nate, what's your, what's your, what? what's your idea? What? We can't end on mine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we can. I think mine has potential. Fine, as a go. Yeah, okay. So, in trying to keep with the theme of slimy secrets, today's game, provided it works, is called <laughs> Secret Slime. Hey, it's the editor. Just as a forewarning, if you have misophonia or misophonia like symptoms, you are probably not going to want to listen to the next game. There will be some gross noises. You have been warned. I will be playing you an audio clip of something slimy, and if you can identify, you get a point. <laughs> no! Yeah, that's like, that's... No! That's like I said, not ending with okay, my game. You, you know what? I, I understand. Alright, All right. here we go. Each clip, it'll either be five seconds or longer. <laughs> what was that? You <laughs> can't do this! I'll just say straight up, none of these are sexual. Wait, so what are we guessing? Are we guessing just who it's by, or...? Yeah, just guessing what it is. Oh, what, what it is. What, it, what is making the slimy noise. Oh, okay. gotcha. Alright, let's see if this works. Is my... Sound on. Oh, yeah, max that shit out. We want to make sure we hear this. <laughs> Open with YouTube music. Yes, please. <laughs> That sounds like a horse, yeah, like was, galloping in say, mud. Is that is it a horse eating an apple? <laughs> that might be a horse. Yeah. Carter was closer. It is someone stepping in mud. Oh, well, there we go. That's a point for Carter. Nice. Wait, what did you even say? I said, I said a, a horse, horse galloping, galloping in, in mud. mud. Oh, okay. Yeah, you know what? That was good. That was well played. All right, round two. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like you're burning a fucking larvae. <laughs> <laughs> I hate this what already. What the fuck? That sounds like something burning. Like, like that's not slimy. <laughs> that's Carter's guess, Nate. Want to hear it again? Is it like someone jamming their hand into a watermelon? Oh yeah, it could be like their hand like squishing in the Jello. I can see that. I'll give that to Carter. It is someone squishing Jello. Oh yeah, there we go. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? <laughs> all right, now remember, all of these things are slimy. They might not be making slimy noises. Gotcha. That being said, here's round three. <laughs> It's a puffer fish. You bet. <laughs> He's eating a carrot, I swear. I got a point. Damn it. It's, it's a puffer fish, all right. <laughs> oh, that's, oh. A, that's a point for Nate. Oh, that's a slimy right. moan. Round four. Okay, that's definitely FNAF, but where at? What? Oh, that's the fucking, like, baby Ballora is liming into, like, your suit during sister location, I believe. Nate? I don't think that's FNAF. I think that's just uh, ASMR. I think that's someone performing ASMR. Carter was very close. It is night five of sister location. Ah! God it is, damn it. It is while you're being tailed by Ennard. Gotcha! Like, that's I, it. it. The voice sounded familiar. It was definitely FNAF. I could recognize. You know, fun fact about familiar voices, uh, actress for, uh, baby the character you just heard the voice of. Her name is Heather Masters, but people thought she was Heather Feather for a while, and so now her comment section is just deranged FNAF posting, and it's terrible. Oh, no. Oh, that sucks. That's a fact. All right. <laughs> so that being said, I believe that's Carter 3, Nate 1. Yeah. <laughs> Round 5. 
That's like washing your face. I don't know how that's slimy though. I've been watching a lot of Parasite recently, so that sound always comes when like blood is gushing out of somebody's body, so. The anime? Yeah, the anime. Gotcha. Yeah. Not the Bong Joon-ho movie, I imagine. No. no. It, like it, it, you should probably guess, Nate. There's <laughs> like a metallic sort of echo to it, so I'm thinking it's it has something to do with like cleaning machinery. I'm gonna You wanna say, hear it again? Yes. Or it's like something dripping from a is ceiling. Is it a dishwasher? I'm going to say Carter was closer. It is a wet dish towel being wrung out. Ah, oh, okay. I didn't even know that was his guess. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, round six. Oh, oh, God. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh my God. Oh. That's okay. us during, um, uh, like, us eating a bunch of wings video. I was gonna say, yeah, it's us eating and, a bunch of wings. I'm like, oh, oh. And I think that is when we eat the last Dab Apollo. I think it's the bomb. It, it's taken from a bunch of different places. It's just Carter freaking out at wings. Oh, okay. <laughs> Oh, I'll give you both a point for oh, that. Oh, <laughs> Carter with five, Nate with two. Well, when I do that, that was actually like... before you even ate any hot sauce. You just made that noise <laughs> for no reason. <laughs> I think that maybe it just smelled bad. I'm not really sure. All right, round seven. That's a frog. Yeah, that's a bunch of fucking... That's a bunch of frogs. It's a bunch of tree frogs. I'll give you both the point as frogs. <laughs> <laughs> well, shit, that's a good one. <laughs> I can't make up any ground. Six, three. All right. <laughs> Round eight. I think this one might be my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> that's Aaron Hansen. <laughs> you bet. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, six four. We're going Wait. strong. Round nine. <laughs> 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 that one was so bad. <laughs> the fact that Aiden laughed at it, though, I'm just like, what the fuck could that be? <laughs> it's like, you're... Do you want to hear it again? Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? Is it like chewing something really slimy? I don't know what the fuck that is. It, I can't even replicate it. It's is somebody put glue all over their hands and they're just Okay. It's either that something's in their mouth and they're chewing or it's like slimy paper and they're just peeling it off and then putting it back on. <laughs> You're both equally Wrong. far, yeah, far <laughs> off. So I'm gonna let you keep zeroing in. Okay. Uh, do not play it again, though. Okay. Yeah, actually, <laughs> one. actually, don't. It's the worst one so far. I swear to God, if it's a fucking human stepping in mud again, I'm gonna be a little bit pissed. <laughs> is it? <laughs> that is not mud, dude. Uh, you did say these weren't sexual. Mm -hmm. is this from like Alien or something? No. Okay. Unless you got another guess, Nate, I'm gonna give it to Carter. Okay. Okay. So. So somebody, somebody peeled an orange and they like, they palmed it and then they just crushed it. Ooh, a juicing thing. I like that. <sighs> oh, I don't know. Here, I'll ask you how you feel points to be doled out. This is a video of someone stepping on spaghetti. What? Yeah, it's, it's labeled as ASMR. Wait, so what did, what did you say? I said stepping, stepping in, mud in mud again. And you said fucking with food. I, I would give that to Carter. Yeah, I think so too. How did that bring about that set? Was it saucy? Yeah. Yeah, saucy. That's spaghetti. disgusting. Yeah, it's like Chef Boyardee. That's disgusting. Yeah, it is disgusting. I, that's why I hated making this. <laughs> God. <laughs> Round 10. Here we go. This is a long one. I think that's a dog licking. No, it's like kind of like great. It's but... like when you when you praise a dog and they're sitting super tight and they're just licking their lips. I'm just gonna say this is from Aiden's boat video of him being on the water. Okay, I'm just gonna let this play out and then uh, <laughs> you guys can keep guessing if you if you want. Okay. Its life is very different from that of most fish. The f what? 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 What the fuck? <laughs> I can't even guess from that. That makes me even more lost. Is it like a close up of a mud skipper leaving the water? You bet! That's the video! Yeah! It's, it's the mud skipper video. Holy shit. I don't even know what the fuck the mud skipper video is. I don't, I don't think I know what that is either. It's a mud skipper! Yeah! Oh my god, I love that video so much. Hold on, let me pull it up. <laughs> that was an actual guess. I don't think I've seen that. Oh god, look at my fucking searchers because of this shit. <laughs> Where is the part where they freak out? 
fish life is very different from that of most fish. <laughs> gotcha. Okay. Okay, sweet. <laughs> <laughs> oh right. man, that's really good. I think it's seven five and Carter takes it. Yeah. Fuck. Huh. Well, that was terrible, and I hated every second of it. Everything about that is horrendous. Oh god, I that lives in my fucking search history now. Yeah, you're gonna get a lot of like stepping on your boyfriend's balls ASMR. <laughs> Stop! <laughs> Stop I, recommending me this. I get so many ASMR shit posts in my feed now. It's driving me insane. <laughs> I can't fucking stand them anymore. <laughs> All right, but that's my game. That was pretty funny. Yeah, that was pretty good. I liked it. <laughs> I lost, so it sucked, but... But you get to go now, and it's pretty good. It was I'm enjoyable. the only one without a win right now. Yeah, so hopefully Maybe it I'll wins. win this. Who knows? All right, let's get this show on the road. Oh, boy. Uh, for the third game of the Slimy Secrets episode, you may have heard of the game Two Truths and a Lie. Uh-huh. Okay. Today, we're playing Two Lies and a Truth. I want you two to use your detective skills to figure out which one is the slimy secret. Are these all, like, wet secrets, or are they just slimy because it's it, not true? It's raunchy. Oh, okay. It's raunchy. <laughs> Are there multiple rounds? No. There, there's not multiple rounds. I just have three things, and uh, you two can work together. You can do whatever you want, but once we either get to the time limit or get to a point where you have no more questions to ask, I'll just have each of you vote on which one you think is the truth. Gotcha. Okay. And so one of you can win. Nobody can win. Both of you can win. We'll see what happens. Okay. So here, <laughs> here we go. Uh huh. I once injured my tailbone by squatting too deep. Okay. Uh-huh. I had a DeviantArt account that I posted on regularly throughout middle school. <laughs> I have actually had sex. I already know what the truth <laughs> No, I'm kidding. I don't, I don't you, know. Do you? I, I might. So here's the deal. Has Nate actually had sex? No. That's the that's the law. It would be a surprise that during this episode, like, he just admits that he has sex. For <laughs> yeah, I just can't imagine coming forward to us with this on the podcast after you've called yourself a virgin willingly <laughs> so many times. Maybe this week, he just had sex for the first time without me realizing it. I'm just like, well, shit. Without me realizing it? <laughs> yeah, maybe. Yeah, not like you would tell yeah, maybe I was asleep. <laughs> I, I was gone. I was out of state. You didn't smell any different. So you had a DeviantArt account that you posted to regularly in middle school. So there's a couple of things I want to unpack about that specifically. So you had a DeviantArt account, meaning he has since deleted it because of the unforgivable sins that were once uploaded yes, to it. Yes, it is long deactivated. Like, okay. I, I have not seen that page in years. Interesting. I feel like he wouldn't be the type of person to post on DeviantArt, but I feel like he would be the type of person just to go on it just to look at some fucked up shit hmm. I will say when I say regularly I mean like uh, I think like weekly it was like every couple of months but that was pretty consistent for a while uh -huh. okay. like I'll be straight up when I was in middle school I would go on there and read comics and stuff oh yeah same yeah like honestly <laughs> it was generally pretty innocent I guess I ended up incidentally seeing porn on there later but that was after I deactivated the account I did not browse with that account <laughs> I did not look at the porn on there <laughs> What um, was it? You squatted, you, you squatted and squatted you... squatted too hard and fractured your tailbone? I once injured my tailbone by squatting too deep. When you say injured, do you mean like it needed to be checked out or is it just like, okay. oh, ow, my tailbone hurts? It wasn't an injury that I went to the doctor for. It was just like, well, I, actually, I may have gotten it checked out. I actually forget that part of the story, but I squatted too deep and then uh, like I felt a little bitty pop and I was like, guys, my ass just popped. And then like later that day, it was hurting like hell and it was like that for a month. Ooh, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, you see, that That actually wasn't what I was expecting him to say. I was thinking that, like, in squatting, he meant, like, he sat down really hard or something, and, like, it was got an ass shock. Yeah, I, I did weights class throughout all of high school, and it was during that. Oh, okay, so you, it was a workout injury. Interesting, okay. Yeah, I just, my form wasn't quite correct, and my ass popped, and then it was just hell to sit down for the next month. And, uh, I just... <laughs> God, it's, maybe I'm just deluding myself, but like, if you had said anything other than I'm not a virgin anymore, I wouldn't have been so toilsome <laughs> over this because like, obviously you want me to think that's the lie. Yeah. Do you want to ask questions about that? Have you ever fucked a woman? <laughs> <laughs> I can just see it being like, I kind of had sex. I had sex with my hand. If you pull that shit, I'm going to be very I mad with sex you. with my hand. It's, it's nothing like that. When I say I have actually had sex, it's nothing roundabout like that. I mean like a, with I've, another person. I've actually had sex. Uh, I, I, I do have a sex. I'm male. <laughs> I don't, I don't want to like pry because that's kind of personal. But like, I mean, you can. Are we talking like virginity losing sex? Or are we just talking like oral or something?
something. <laughs> I, I I don't want to make every episode so sexual, but I, I've already done that. Yeah, it was cock inside of the bajimbus. Oh my god. Okay. I, I think I have an answer. <laughs> There's no way you wouldn't have, like, told me about that. Well, okay. So, it would be so funny well, if, because, like, for the longest because time. that's weird. Wouldn't it be weird if I just had sex and then the first thing I did was go in the Discord and be like, guys, guys, you're never going to believe this. <laughs> I don't know. We've we've had, like, conversations face to face. For me, I want to let that shit just go for a bit, you know, just to keep it to myself. It's like how I went fishing with my dad this one time. I had, like, a bass in my hand, and I was proud of that because it was, like, a bigger fish than the shit I was catching <laughs> And I before. put my dick in its hole. <laughs> <laughs> but That's how I lost my virginity. To a fish. <laughs> he took a picture of it. It was a little flip phone. It didn't save, but I'm like, you know what? I got the memory. It's kind of like that. Uh, I, I feel like the experience yeah, is just... more important than the social uh, gain. I Because it's like, would I be candid mm. about it if I had sex? Straight up, I do have a friend that I told uh, when I have sex, I will let you know pretty soon after, within the next 24 hours. Oh. Okay, hey boy, follow I up. Sex. Can I phone a friend? <laughs> yes, you can phone one of what, your why friends. Why are you going to phone <laughs> a friend? <laughs> All right, let me call Nico. <laughs> what the fuck is... Why no, yeah, it's good, this is good. <laughs> Wait, ask Nico maybe, maybe, I, I, maybe I shouldn't, it's final yeah, season. Ask Nico if I have had sex. Uh, okay. Has they had sex before? <laughs> Truth. <laughs> oh, shit, sorry. <laughs> 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 Oops. Uh, I shouldn't do this. He might be busy. Dude, this is urgent. We have to know if Naya's had sex before. Okay, fine. I'll call him. <laughs> this is our second instance of Nico on the podcast. <laughs> Oh, oh damn it! Oh, damn. All right. All right. I think that's prophecy saying that probably not. <laughs> Maybe he's just overwhelmed with the truth. <laughs> All right. So what was it again? You broke your ass. You DeviantArt account. DeviantArt and sex. <sighs> DeviantArt. Sleuth the truth. You can ask more okay. questions too. Do you uh post art now? No. You haven't been working on well, it. Yeah, I just you draw stuff. He, he draws for like the thing is uh, my art now, generally it's cursed to a point that I don't really want to subject the internet to it. Like YouTube is fine. You've seen plenty of it, but like uh, back in middle school, it's because I had a couple of friends that also did it, and uh, like sorry, their art was dog shit. And mine was like a step above that. So I'm like, if they're posting, then I can definitely post mine. And uh, now it's like just, I'm self-conscious in everything I do, so I wouldn't go to the lengths to do that again, I don't think. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest, I don't buy that for a goddamn <laughs> second, because we make YouTube videos together, and you're using this well, as a potential excuse to confirm that you are now no longer a virgin. I'm gonna say that you, you broke your ass. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna say that's the truth. <laughs> All right. You know, Shit. I'm gonna say it. You broke your ass. <laughs> I don't care about that tail I, I went to the doctor and he confirmed it. There's a crack in my ass. <laughs> I don't care that you broke your ass. You know, what? I'm gonna say it. I don't care. <laughs> All right. So what I was doing was that I was observing Nate's eye movements. Yeah, I can I was, see you staring at me. Like yeah, I was staring you oh, down, man. God, you fucking Apollo Justice's ass. Oh yeah, of course. That's how it works. Uh, what, yeah. What a realistic depiction of court. <laughs> What's funny is that his like mouth goes in for two of them and not for the one and his eyes dart around for two of them and not for the one and I might be totally wrong and I'm very proud of this if it is correct but I do think the truth is the deviant art one I feel like that's right okay right, so we're locked in you're locked ass. in for ass <laughs> you're locked in for deviant art and we're both wrong he had sex the entire time damn it yeah I hate to say it I think you still hold none of that V card boys <laughs> Boy. I've got some news Dude, you had sex? <laughs> you are a man. Put in some triumphant, like, orchestral music. Okay. I broke my ass. Oh, hey! damn it. You were yes. wrong. Why the heck were you darting your eyes around so Cause much? Because you were staring at him. Because <laughs> you were making me nervous as hell. <laughs> Multiple times, I, I looked over at you just because I was talking to you, and you're just like... You were like a bull about to charge at me. <laughs> uh, but yeah, Aiden, you are correct. Carter, no. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Broke my ass, and so Aiden, you have won the game. All right, that's one win each. I feel pretty good about one this. Each. One each. One right. each. <laughs> one win each. <laughs> one each. One win each. All right, how should I do this? How should I do this? How we're about gonna, a piece we're gonna of... put to a vote, right? I wanna get a piece of paper real fast. Give me one moment. You gotta keep score for this? No, no, no. I just wanna like. I wanna. I wanna... <laughs> Something. Shut up. <laughs> Damn it. Ah, there we go. That'll work. Close the door behind you. Shut up.
Okay, so. All right, so you cannot pick yourself, but you will write the name of whoever the fuck. Here you go, here you go, here you go. I, I write my favorite? Yeah, right, who was your favorite, except okay, for yourself. Wait, can we recap what the games were? Me, I was trivia. Yeah, I was secret slimes. Okay. And you were the Two boy. truths and a slime. Oh, that's, that's a better title, yeah, let's keep that one. <laughs> All right, I got one. And then fold it up and give it to me, and I will read it out. <laughs> yeah, that's a good thing. Yeah, make a paper airplane. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you just fucking dog-eared the corner. <laughs> what a there good you go, <laughs> What a good man. So, who do we got? We got... Sorry, shit. Uh, we got Aiden. Okay. We have Carter. Oh, shit. shit. All right. This better not be fucking Nate. If it is, then I guess I lose my laptop. <laughs> no, it's Aiden. Oh, shit. Oh! All right. Oh shit, alrighty. Let's go! I thought your game was really elaborate and I really like the sound even though it's gonna be really hard to edit, so. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I, I like those clip games. Yeah, I need this in my oh, yeah. life. And that was really fun, I'm not mad. All right, cool. I guess I'll try to find a way to restructure the in-person game I had planned for this week anyway. Just fucking drive back after a week of being in Chicago. <laughs> I'll, I'll figure something out. All right, well. Um, I guess I'll get writing on that, but yeah. I have won! Has it been a while, or am I just remembering wrong? No, uh, not really. It's... I take this win graciously, though I do think that my game was objectively the worst. Uh, I think I managed to sort of blossom within the gutter I put myself in <laughs> and created something quite fun, and I do think that this win is deserved, and I feel pretty good about it. Nice. What I was going to do is I was going to do the Hat of Mystery, and you guys would have reached inside. And there would have been something slimy in the hat. Yeah, I didn't want to do that, so I think you guys would have been pissed at me. <laughs> yeah, yeah it would. probably. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. I was gonna like mix egg whites and then ruin a hat for the episode. <laughs> if that had dripped on my laptop, I would have made you pay for it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, respectfully, fuck that. Yeah. So. Uh, Nate, loser speech. All right, I take this loss with just such great guy energy uh, because it's fine. My game was very, uh, very loosely prepared. I did not put much into it, so I didn't expect to get much back. I do wish that my truth was more interesting. That was the hardest part. Yeah, um, you should have made a Deviant art account. Um, oh, that would have been so funny if you made a Deviant art account just for this. <laughs> but yeah, I'm o I'm okay with losing. It's fine. I'll survive. I think. I'm excited to see what you uh, what you can cook up. You can cook yeah, up. hopefully it's good. If it's not, it'll really suck. <laughs> uh, Carter, since you were a competitor, do you want to give a loser speech too? I felt like I lost the most because at one time I got negative two points and everybody else got a billion, so I mean... Uh, no, actually, we ended it with a hundred and you ended with negative seven billion. Yeah. Oh, is that it? And you also lost a win. I never said that I lost a win. Ooh, Ooh. no, one of, one of us said that, actually. Yeah, actually, and I was the host. Wait, actually, we probably yeah. need majority for that. Ooh, did nope. Carter lose a win? Nope. Ooh. Nope. I don't think he loses it, necessarily, Yeah. But I think they should, like, lock that one up for a bit. Yeah, oh, okay, I, I, so you, you get it back at the end of the next episode. It just needs to sit in the corner for a bit. Yeah, you need yeah. To, it's just going on vacation. I'll, I'll let it marinate for like three weeks. We just need you to understand that when you do something wrong, you need to face consequences. Dude, I know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this might be the last time we record in person for a very long time. So I'll still be I, here, guys. I'll sure? still be here. We'll see you next time. Yeah. Have a beautiful time. Bye. Bye. <laughs> see ya. Bye. We're gonna see you later. We're gonna see you later. Glasgow for an excellent show. <laughs> I, was trying, I was trying to remember literally any quote from the Tom York video. How brilliant is that? <laughs> oh, this bend up in two legs.
Just a, just a shot of your heart as shit. I'm working through some stuff right now. Hi, new friend! Boy, I've got the thing to raise your spirits! Oh god, I miss her so much. It's a revolutionary podcast called Spicy Chicken Sandwich! I just want to see my kids again. You can listen to it on many platforms. YouTube, Spotify, Apple Music, and many more. I lost everything. Every last penny. Fuck! I hear subscribing to the podcast everywhere and sharing it with your friends really helps the creators out. So you should really think about it. I could have fixed it too. That's the part that killed me. I could have fixed it. It's so good. I'm gonna go listen to it right now. Why did I buy so many alligators? That'll be ten bucks either. Shotgun alligators for fuck's sake!